Two of my favorite things in this world is being a husband and being a father. And that's odd because those are two things that I did not grow up witnessing or having in my household. And so oftentimes people will ask me or their comment like, man, you seem like you know, you're a great father. Uh, you must have had a good example or a good dad. And I tell them that's not the case. You know, For so long I was angry and bitter and just sad because I couldn't figure out why my relationship with my dad was so different and so strange. But I realized something that if it wasn't for that feeling, that hurt I had in my heart, I probably wouldn't be the dad that I am today to my kids. And so I just wanna encourage you, if you grew up with a story similar to mine, you still can build something that you've never had or never seen. And my, my tool with my, my girls is really simple. I'm a girl dad. So one, I try to give them the things that I would have wanted as a kid, that I would have wanted from my father or my dad or that I did want. And secondly, I try to love them the way God loves me. Being a parent, being a spouse, you learn unconditional love and you have to really put it into practice. And so I try to remember that all the time, like I'm getting the opportunity to be like God, to be Christ-like and give them that unconditional love. And so I just wanna share this with you that because of your past or your circumstances, don't let that be an excuse. Here's what I mean by that. When we live our lives, we can make excuses or we can make progress. The moment you can identify why you are the way you are, it's no longer an excuse, it's a choice. So break the chains, break the cycle and bless up. Kenyon Godwin of Dreams Consultant, helping you maximize your purpose.